Hello everyone, Executo here. Please enjoy this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram and Facebook. Get aesthetic, brah. Hey guys, Executor here with another question video. Today's topic is why is volume important? There's many reasons why volume is important, but the number one reason is that your muscles get used to what you do. So when you add on volume, your muscles are getting used to that weight you're doing. The more volume you do of it, the more time it's gonna get used to it, the more you can go up in weight, the more you can go lighter, whatever you wanna do really. Obviously you're gonna go up in weight if you're gonna be gonna use that volume. Example of doing volume is five sets of five. So for instance, you're gonna do, you're gonna be doing bench. You do five sets of five reps, so you're gonna be, you're not gonna go to failure obviously on your first uh, first set, but maybe towards the end, you might be going close to failure or even failure on that fifth, fifth set. What this allows you to do is your muscles to get used to that weight. So you're gonna be doing that for about maybe two weeks, add on 10 pounds, do that for another two weeks, add on 10 pounds, you know? Usually people do fi se five sets of five or even six sets of five, I don't know, like, it's not that I don't know, it's that it all depends on what you prefer. So depending on what your body type is, depending on what you want to achieve. For me personally, I say five sets of five is pretty, pretty default. Pretty, uh, it's it's what most people do when they're trying to gain some size. Um, doing one rep maxes is dangerous. It's not necessarily the best route to uh, get size. I don't recommend that. The reason why I recommend not doing one rep maxes is because you could get an injury. You drop that weight once, that's it. You pull that muscle once, that's it. You gotta wait another two, three weeks before you can work out again. It's just a big hassle, there's no reason to do it. It's more to show off. If you're a power lifter, then I recommend doing it because you have the technique, you have the experience, and you know exactly what you're doing. But for people that are just starting off, even advanced people, I don't recommend doing one rep maxes. There's no reason to have to do a one rep max, only if you really wanna show off, or if you're an actual power lifter, which you're doing that for competition. You do volume in different ways. If you wanna gain mass, you're obviously gonna be doing volume for sets of, uh, to, to like reps of six to eight, uh, a lot of sets. A lot of sets for anything when you're doing high volume. Um, obviously you'd be doing it more for compound movements and the reason why I say compound movements is because you're hitting more than one muscle allowing you to gain more mass you know I'll talk about that in another video but <clears throat> yeah compound movements is a great time to use it not necessarily isolation movements you can use it in isolation movements but you might overwork your muscle or overwork yourself in general make sure you drink lots of water of course when you're doing these types of high volume movements another type of high volume sets you could do is pyramid sets so you could be doing five sets up five sets down you know pyramid is meaning you start low in weight you work your way up all the way till you could reach about like six reps on that top top weight or even a little bit less maybe four depending on the movement you're doing like squats fours all right um and then you work your way back down and that's another example of adding volume in a different type of way for me personally since i'm cutting down um i'm gonna be doing still heavy weight to maintain that strength so i do one set of like six to eight um, that's not much volume because I'm not trying to gain mass, right? But for instance, since I'm cutting down, I'm gonna be doing about 12 to 15 reps for another three sets, and that's a lot of volume. So you're gonna be so for me personally, that's gonna allow me to burn out that muscle and allow for those striations to show more. Overall, volume is key to building muscle mass, key to cutting down, key to really anything. The more you do something, the more you're gonna get used to it, and that's kind of common sense, you know. I mean, you do you play? For instance, I play hockey. Uh, I'm gonna be I don't know how to skate. Let's just say I don't know how to skate. I go on the ice I go skating for about five six times then I'm used to it now I'm gonna learn backwards skating You're always gonna advance when you add volume and you add weight and you're always getting better Just make sure you use volume make sure you're doing the right amount of volume make sure you're doing the amount of amount of right of reps Make sure you're not doing like 10 sets of something because that all depends on what you're doing You can't obviously you're not gonna be doing 10 sets of like heavy heavy reps um, maybe 10 sets of burnouts even then, 10 sets is a lot of a lot of sets. I don't recommend it for one exercise at least. Um, but if you're doing like isolation movements, there's not necessarily a need for volume because you're just isolating that muscle. You're you're kind of defining it more. You could go heavy, obviously, but it's risky when you go heavy with isolation movements. Uh, for certain isolation movements, obviously, like uh, for instance, tricep head hitting in a certain way, you can injure your elbow and you don't want that to happen no one wants that to happen so make sure you're being careful when you're doing isolation movements for compound movements a lot of people just use high volume uh build mass all that good stuff so i hope that gave you guys a better understanding on what volume is and why it really is important when you're working out i recorded with a hero gopro 
4 now. Uh, I don't know if you guys like it better like this. I'm also recording with a microphone right now um, connected to my computer. But uh, yeah, it's better quality. I don't know if you guys will enjoy it or not, but uh, leave comments below. All that good stuff. Like, subscribe, and get aesthetic.